Today, in 2022, if you consider yourself a pastor, if you are in soul winning, if you don't believe in the reprobate doctrine, most likely you believe in a wrong gospel. If you don't believe in the reprobate doctrine, you're most likely probably even preaching a wrong gospel. Let me explain this. We as believers, we believe in one saved, always saved. Faith alone, grace alone. Once you put your faith in Jesus, you are saved forever. You're going to heaven, right? What if you commit murder? Will you go to hell? No. What if you commit adultery? Will you go to hell? No. Right? What if you commit fornication? Will you go to hell? No. What if you commit these sins and you don't repent from it and are continuing to do this till the last breath? Will you go to hell? No. You will go to heaven because once saved, always saved. Now, if you continue in these sins, your life here in this world maybe will be destroyed. God can cause all kinds of problems because you're his child, but he will not send you to hell. But you know what? There are Christians today who will ask this question. Because the sin is so prevalent, because sodomy is so prevalent, they'll ask you this question, are you saying that you can be a sodomite? You're saved, you're a Christian, so can you be a sodomite? Can you be a pedophile? And you know what, these preachers who don't believe in the reprobate doctrine, you know what they say? Oh, well, uh, you got to have to repent of that sin. You're going to have to repent from being a homosexual and then you'll be saved. Now they're preaching, repent of your sins. And almost every church today has a sodomite problem. There are people who consider themselves to be sodomite and they come to these churches. And because of this one person, they have to preach a repent of your sins doctrine. And because they say you must repent from being a homosexual, they apply that to all other sins. They say, eh, you can't live in adultery if you're saved, you're going to have to repent of that. You can't live in fornication if you're saved, you have to repent of that. End of the day, it's a false gospel. Repent of your sins. If you don't believe in the reprobate doctrine, chances are you're preaching a false gospel. You're preaching repent of your sins doctrine. And some people, in some cases, you might, you might be even saved and preaching this stuff just because you want to be a people pleaser.